I call Amazon.com the Amazon Gorilla, and for uh, you know, really good reason. I mean, Amazon is huge. If you don't have this 800-pound gorilla sitting in your corner, you gotta get him in your corner. You gotta unleash this, and, and he's a very smart gorilla to boot. I mean, we don't have to teach him any new tricks. He already knows how, everything about HTML. It knows about RSS feeds, article marketing, blogs, bulletin boards, JavaScript. You know, he knows all the ABC languages, PHP, Ajax, C++, you name it. This gorilla knows it. He knows all the alphabet languages. So, not only is uh, Amazon in the paperback department big, but the Kindle is where the future is. Here's a uh, article uh, I found online then. They're forecasting uh, the Kindle sales to represent 10% of Amazon sales in five years. Now this article is from August of 2009. So uh, here we are in 2010, you know, early mid 2010 and it is unbelievable the amount of Kindle, how much Kindle sales have grown. Right now, it's only at like between, they're estimating between 1% and 3% of Amazon sales are Kindle related. Uh, and that figure is just going to grow uh, to huge numbers in the next few years. Uh, right now, they're saying there's almost 2 million Kindle owners who own the Kindle unit itself, that's not counting, that's not uh, the ebooks and stuff, and that uh, it's going to be three, 3 million by the end of this year. So the opportunity for uh, marketing to this group is uh, growing huge, and it's time for you guys to get into it. Uh, and also a thing that really opened my eyes was uh, in January, this is an article from the Wall Street Journal, uh, January 20th, 2010, that up until uh, this time, the royalty for Kindle books has been at 35%. Starting in July of 2010, uh, the royalty will double. It's going to be 70 percent and my eyes like popped out of my head when I heard that. I mean there are a few uh, uh, requirements that have to be met. The, the, the price of the product has to be between $2.99 and $9.99. The list price must be at least 20 percent below the lowest physical price. Uh, title must be available in all geographies. That's no problem. Uh, and, you know, text-to-speech type things and stuff like that. So, this is really exciting news and really makes me want to expand my uh, Kindle products. Now, there's, uh, well, actually, first of all, I wanted to say that uh, also later on in uh, one of the uh, videos, we're going to talk about getting your print book, your paperback book, into Amazon.com also, and I'm not talking about CreateSpace, uh, but I'm talking about a, uh, another resource that I'm going to go into detail later on, uh, that there also, my royalty averages between 60 and 70 percent. Now, CreateSpace pays a lot less than that, but we're going to go into that later. Uh, uh, right now, we're going to start... Uh, in the next video, we're going to start getting into uh, your book into uh, Kindle digital text platform. Okay, before we go ahead and uh, log into our Kindle account, uh, there's a couple of things we have to do first. We have to get our, uh, our interior of our book ready. And we have to have a nice picture uh, of the cover. Right now, Amazon is, uh, accepts uh, three 
formats for the interior of the book. You could do it either Microsoft Word dot doc, uh, HTML, or uh, with uh, Moby Pocket, they do uh, got a, uh, a file also. Uh, click on over to uh, MobyPocket.com. That's all you need. This is uh, the default, so I'll just and uh, let that load up fresh and scroll down a little bit down towards the bottom of the page uh, publishers let me go down a little bit more here click on login to deploy interface now unfortunately uh, you will not be able to create a new account here uh, Effective September 2009, we will no longer accept new accounts for publishers to sell titles through the Kindle Store or MobyPocket.com. I mean, I have an existing account here, uh, but this really isn't necessary. What I'm really showing you here is click over here on Conversion Services. Here there's a list of uh, companies that will do your conversion service for you with contact information. But over here is Moby Pocket Creator Publisher Edition. Go ahead and click on that. Now this is only good, I use a uh, Mac, so uh, I can't download this and, and show you how to use it. It's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, if you got a PC, go ahead and try it. Uh, these things are funny, it, you know, HTML might look better on the Kindle for your particular work. Uh, maybe this Moby Pocket tool works better for you. Or maybe just a dot .doc file works good for you. So anyway, it's there. It's an option for you to try. Uh, also, oh, I wanted to show you this. One other site here. This is uh, JC cjs easy as pie.com publishing for kindle using moby pocket it's a uh, uh it's a little tutorial here to help you uh work on uh you know if you're going to use the moby pocket tool so it's uh, cjs easy as pie.com and also, okay, now to publish in HTML, uh, it's as easy as uh, using Microsoft Word and uh, uh, saving uh, as HTML instead of a dot .doc. If you're using Apple Works like what I do, go up to File, Save As, and in the uh, drop-down box here, Instead of Apple Works, uh, just click on HTML. You know, put a name in there for you that one that you would know. Say Kindle Book, Kindle Book, and then just click on Save. And that's as easy as it gets to uh, saving an HTML. Uh, the other thing is images. You want uh, it's a couple of requirements uh, for Amazon. Their uh, uh, technical specifications. You want it in TIFF, .tiff format or .jpg format. Uh, image pixel dimensions of at least 1280 on the longest side, 2560 or larger preferred. Now, they have scaled that down a bit somewhat. They will accept smaller ones. But you know what? I like to keep them big. And I like to... Uh, because it gives a nice, uh, a nice image. This is very important. CMYK color mode. No RGB. It will not show up if you use RGB. You must use CMYK color mode. And the file names... 
uh, it must be with your product identifier name, either your Amazon ASIN, your 13 digit ISBN, EAN, or UPC, followed by the period and an appropriate file extension. So here you can see it. So it would be your uh, ISBN.tiff or .jpg or whatever. This is the uh, Amazon uh, ASI number that they that they, they will assign to you. All right. Before we go into images a little bit further, I wanted to make sure you get the Kindle customer service number and uh, co uh, contact email addresses. Uh, these are also going to be in the uh, PDF file that you downloaded with these videos, so you don't have to worry about writing it down. They'll be included in that PDF file. Earlier I was talking about images, I was talking about cover images. Here we're going to cover uh, more about the interior images and some of the requirements for them. First of all, images on the Kindle are black and white. Uh, Kindle for PC or the iPhone Kindle display full color images. So you want to use full color images because in the next year or two Kindle will also support color images. At least that's what's in the works uh, from what I hear. So I, I limit my images. I don't like to put too many in there. Uh, it can be cumbersome a little bit. I like to use plenty of hot links. Uh, they work extremely well. I scatter them throughout my ebooks, uh, especially if it's a promo type or you could even put in affiliate type links in there. Now the display area of the Kindle is maximum 520 by 622 pixels. That's at uh, 72, use 72 DPI. And Kindle will resize the images and ultimately distort them if they're not this size. But the good news is that only one side needs to be at max. Of course, Amazon won't change the image's height if uh, if it's uh, if one side is right. If one side is say at 520, it's not going to change the image. So uh, let's say, for example, your image you have an image that is 500 by 600. Amazon will auto resize it to 520 by 622. Okay, if your image is, let's say, 450 by 622, or say 520 by 520, the image will not be resized at all, because one side is already at the maximum. Now, you cannot uh, center images vertically either. Uh, you can uh, center them uh, horizontally, but not vertically. To do a little work around this, this is what I do. You take your image after it's been optimized and uh, cut and paste the final image into the center of a 520 by 622 background. So now your images are the fullest size possible and always centered perfectly. I mean, I used uh, the blue background here just to show the contrast. Obviously, you would do a uh, white background uh, so that uh, it, it looks like it's centered perfectly. So you got all your images squared away. Now think think of images as pages. Because you want an image to appear as, as a full page. So name your pages or name your images like uh, page number 7 dot jpeg or page number 15 JPEG, etc. Now create a single uh, folder 
with all your images with no subfolders. Create one single folder with all your images and then you want to add an index.html file for the interior document. Now call the images by uh, file names. They will uh, be relative to the document so it would be uh, image source equals page one dot jpeg. Uh, so you don't that that's the way it would call call the uh, image. Now the Kindle doesn't support uh, all HTML tags. Uh, also in the PDF file that came with this download, there's a uh, list of tags that the Kindle does support as of right now. I mean that might change in the future. But uh, take a look at those over. It, it supports most of the uh, standard uh, HTML tags, but not all of them. Uh, to force Kindle to a new blank page, this is a Moby Pocket. Uh, this is what Moby Pocket uses to uh, force Kindle to go to a new page. So use this tag to force a new page. Uh, all right. So once you got your interior document ready, you got all your images ready, you want to create a zip file uh, out of everything put together and uh, name it name it correctly with the ISBN or your Amazon number. Alright, uh, we're going to go into a little bit more of uh, uh, formatting your interior document in the next video. We were talking about saving your file as an HTML file. Uh, you can use Dreamweaver or Composer or Notepad, etc. for creating your HTML file. Uh, it doesn't have to be in Word. It just uh, some people are not very comfortable working directly with HTML. Uh, but if you are, by all means, go ahead and use one of these programs to make it. It's going to make a lot cleaner code uh, than uh, uh, Word does. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. And also, if you don't want to even mess around with uh, HTML at all, uh, you know, go back to the uh, MobyPocket.com site and... Uh, Remember, there was a listing there of companies and individuals that will do the HTML for you, do the formatting for you. And it's really not that expensive. It's, you know, it's like $100, maybe $200 for them to do it. It's, you're not talking a lot of money. It, I guess it depends on the complexity of your book, if you have a lot of images and so on. But, uh, you know, it's not expensive at all to do it. And also, a lot of you guys uh, uh, have uh, PDF files that you don't have the uh, source to, or the dot .doc file, or something like that. Especially if you want to use, like, some uh, PLR stuff that you bought five years ago that's been, you know, hanging around on your computer for uh, collecting dust. Uh, that you want to use that PDF file now to make a uh, a short quickie Kindle product to promote your main product which is what I do a lot I do a lot of that on Kindle uh, I make these short little products that are actually promos for my main products like what we're gonna do later on today you, you you're gonna see is uh, me uploading a promo for my main product so this product will be a cheapy product that I'm doing today probably in the $1.99 range and $2.99 range but it's really there to promote my more expensive products my $20 products my $30 products uh, etc so let's uh, keep going on I'm gonna assume in this rest of this video that you're gonna be using Word you certainly don't have to uh, you could skip the rest of this uh, video if you want uh, but the first thing I want to talk about, a lot of people don't make a uh, clickable 
table of contents, and that's very important. Uh, in Word, to create create yourself a table of contents as you would uh, normally, and then let's just say let's use an example, say chapter three as an example. Uh, using your mouse or keyboard, select the words chapter three on your uh, table of contents list. Click on the insert menu and select hyperlink, or you can press Control K. In the hyperlink box, choose to add a link within the current document. Now you'll need to add some bookmarks before you insert the hyperlinks. Scroll your document to the place you want the link to go and place your cursor at the beginning of the paragraph. Go to the insert menu and select the bookmark. In the bookmark box, enter a name for your bookmark, for instance, Chapter 3, and then press OK. Now use this uh, same process for the rest of the table of contents, and also you could use the same uh, process if you want to create an index uh, to the correct places within uh, your interior document. Uh, images, you insert them as you would regular, uh, and, and then just when you, you have the document looking the way you want it to look, uh, click on uh, Save As, and then Save As an HTML document. That's about it. Uh, now go ahead, go over to the MobyPocket.com uh, site and download, download the Moby pocket creator and in the next uh, video we'll talk a little bit about that all right you went ahead and you downloaded the moby pocket creator from mobypocket.com uh, go ahead load up the program onto your hard drive and then open it up and uh, this is what you're going to see this is the screen you'll see on the left hand side there's a lot of stuff there that you really don't have to uh, concern yourself about. Uh, this piece of software was created a number of years ago and a lot of the stuff on here is like really outdated. So don't even worry about what's on that side. What you are going to be using is on the right side of the screen where it says import from existing file. Now, you've either created an HTML document or an msword.document in .doc format. Uh, you don't want it in text document, and you don't want to import a PDF document. Those just don't come out formatted correctly. So either have an HTML or an msword document ready. Uh, we're going to use, I have my stuff in an HTML document, so I'm going to use that. Uh, but the interface for either one, it really doesn't matter. Go ahead, click on the MS Word document, and uh, this is what you see. This is the MS Word import file wizard. Uh, really very easy. Just uh, uh, browse for your file, for your dot .doc uh, file for your interior of your book. Uh, everything else you can keep in the default settings and then just click on import and uh, the meter below will show the progress of the import. Very easy. Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded my HTML document with the uh, HTML document import file wizard. Um, yeah, it's the same as the uh, MS Word, so nothing changes. Just choose a file, leave everything else, and then click Import. So that's about it for that. Uh, next, we're going to look at how you add images or cover title uh, and the metadata. Click on the Star Home icon, and that will bring you to this page. Now, these are all your publication files, or you could reach it by accessing... Uh, clicking on publication files. Uh, from here, we want to add a cover image. 
uh, for the book. So go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you to a uh, new page where you can import your image for your, your cover image. Very simple, just browse for your file and click on upload. Okay, you got your cover image up, so you're all set there. Uh, on the left hand side there's a link there for table of contents but uh, we're not going to use that here. You already made your table of contents with MS Word or Dreamweaver or whatever you use to create your HTML file. So it's kind of cumbersome to do it here. So do it uh, in a different program. Don't use this. Uh, book settings, you can leave that in the default position. Next, you want to hit on the metadata link. Uh, this is a very important area here. Think about keywords. Uh, think about uh, what people would look for to find your book on Amazon.com. So make sure you get your keywords in your title. Uh, put in the author's name, the publisher, uh, language. And it also has a description area there that's very important also because that description area uh, will also be on Amazon's description uh, for your product, for your product page. So that is very important. Do a lot of thinking about this. Include all your keywords that people might look for when they're looking for uh, something in your field. Okay, you got everything set. You have your interior files uploaded. You got your cover image done. Uh, your book uh, metadata tags. I'm sure you put a lot of thought into those and you got them all in line. Now go to the uh, top of the page and in the uh, uh, navigation there, click on build and you'll see this page come up. The compression options you can leave the same. Uh, leave them at standard. Uh, encryption options, this is where you have to do a little thinking. If you want your material encrypted so that no one else uh, can use it or you, your customer can't transfer your files to another machine or give it to his friend, on products like this uh, that are mainly for a, uh, to promote my main products, I always select no encryption. But uh, on my main products, I usually encrypt them so that they're not given away freely and not passed around as freebies. So make that choice if you want no encryption. Uh, you definitely don't want to use the password and uh, and use the click on the bottom box there content encryption with DMR rights uh, if you don't want the file to move around. So go ahead, click on build and watch the meter bar go up to a hundred. It's with any kind of luck, of course. Okay, everything looks good. Build is finished. Uh, there's a couple of options here on this final page here uh, to preview it in the Moby Pocket Reader emulator or the Moby Pocket Reader for PC. I, you know, I don't even do it here, but you're going to have a chance later on to pick which file came out best for you. Uh, when we go to the digital text platform over at Amazon. So uh, just go ahead and click on open folder containing ebook, click on OK, and you're all done. Your file will be uh, your book's name .prc. It's a .prc file that you're going to be uploading to uh, Amazon digital text. Okay, we'll get into that in the next video. So, uh, there's Moby Pocket for you. Okay, now that we got everything ready, you got the interior files done in HTML format and uh, Moby Pocket format. Uh, click on over to dtp.amazon.com. This is the uh, Kindle uh, upload website that you're going to want to create a count and upload your uh, ebooks to. Uh, you could even use your, even if you have a buyer's account on Amazon, you can use that and expand it to Kindle use. Uh, 
other than you know click on sign up I'm gonna go ahead and sign in on my existing username that I have you would click on I am a new customer I'm gonna uh, log into my uh, Kindle account right here and you'll want to go you got my shelf my reports my account go to my account first and type in your company name or your full name whatever you're gonna get paid at uh, your address your physical address uh, this is the most important part this is how you're gonna get paid uh, you can get paid either by electronic funds transfer or by check I like to do the electronic funds transfer uh, select your business type and your social security number or your employer number and then set up your uh, bank account uh, click on add or edit account and then you could add your bank uh, information there where they will transfer uh, royalties generally speaking Amazon pays royalties like 30 to 45 days after the close of a month so in other words if to get paid for December of 09 you would get paid like usually it's like sometime in the middle of February uh, of uh, 2010 for uh, December's uh, royalties commissions and once again those commissions are jumping that's what I'm all excited about right now they're at 35 percent but come July it's going to be 70 percent that's a that's a nice raise Amazon gave everybody I really got to thank them for that and then you can go to reports and here you can view uh, month to date reports you can download previous uh, months and year to date reports uh, right now let's go ahead and upload your new book go to click on my shelf you'll have a listing of your titles that you have in this account and go ahead and click on add new item now I saved the details uh, when we were doing the Moby pocket uh, uh, making the Moby pocket file so I saved all of my the titles in a uh, text document so I can go ahead and copy and paste them right in the description again you want to use keywords uh, so people can find your product find what they're looking for and you know they say it works in internet marketing related items but I always would like to include a call to action now on Amazon pages the buy now button is to the top right so I always I always say you know to click on buy now scroll on up click on buy now to deliver almost instantly to your Kindle or other reading device uh, add the author pen name Yanni and I like to include my company name in there in case somebody's doing a search for Barney's gang Dot com. They'll find me also. Uh, publisher. Dot com. ISBN. Uh, for this particular book and works like this that are really just like promos for my other main books. My main books I always assign an ISBN to something like this I don't assign ISBN to I'll uh, I'll let Amazon go ahead and issue me a uh, Amazon number and I'll just use that language is English publication date today is March 16th 10 uh, keywords I'll go ahead and copy and paste from over here my text document and you can always go back later and add more uh, delete ones or add more so it's not uh, like if it's set you could always edit edit these things uh, to get categories you're allowed to select up to five categories 
uh, anything with the plus mark next to it they expand uh, to show more categories so mine is in the health and fitness category sexuality click on add categories I'm gonna leave it at that for now I could always come back later and add more if I like click on confirm edition number no uh, this is actually going to be part of my sex made easy series so I'll type that in here and again we got the DMR digital rights management question that comes up do you want to have them uh, the ultimate customer to transfer the ebook to a different device do you want to have the customer maybe give it to a friend of his to read if you don't want him to move uh, your ebook off of his primary uh, Kindle or uh, Kindle for PC then click this button if you don't care like I don't care I, I hope people pass this book around and go on and uh, buy my uh, other one of my other products so I'm gonna use do not in enable digital rights management now this is for the cover uh, again don't forget you want to use CMYK not RGB color when you're formatting your uh, cover and all your images in Photoshop or other uh, uh, tools that you might use make sure it's CMYK not RGB color so the formats either TIFF or JPEG uh, pixel dimensions of at least 500 pixels on the longest side they prefer 1200 so go ahead and browse over to where your image is click on upload And that's good we should be all done with the first section here okay we'll click on save entries okay the second part is confirmation of content rights <clears throat> and well is where do you want to sell this I have I'm going to let it be sold worldwide all territories I confirm that I have the all rights necessary to make the content available for marketing, distribution, and sale. Yes, I am the author, and I have the right to upload this content. Save entries. Okay. Now we're going to upload the actual interior file of the book. Uh, right here. The three formats they are accepting MS Word, HTML, or PRC format. Other formats, PDF, such as PDF, may lead to poor conversion quality. So only do one of those three formats. Uh, I already checked this, so I'm going to go ahead and upload my PRC format that uh, looks the best. PRC choose upload now the ne next and final sec section is uh, well here we could preview it if you want Now this pre, uh, preview is doesn't look exactly like the Kindle. I mean it's close, but it doesn't look exactly like it. So it looks like it's formatted pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now suggested retail price. This particular product 
It's just a, it's mainly almost as a, you know, a giveaway. So I'm going to price this low. I'm going to price it at $2.99. Uh, most of my Kindle books are priced at between 10 bucks and $20. So I'm going to list this one at, at $2.99. And save entries. Now it takes a takes a few uh, days for your product to go live uh, onto the Amazon website, so just be patient. You got everything done. Go ahead over here. You're complete on everything. You completed everything. Details, rights, upload preview, and retail price. So go ahead and click publish. Take a second or so, let it load up. Okay, it usually takes two to three business days uh, for, well, either 48 hours, oh, actually 48 hours for English and two to three business days for other languages to make your content available for purchase. So just hang in there, wait a few days, and then we'll see... Uh, See when it's up and see how sales go and then we'll do any modifications that we have to that we have to change okay that's about it for uploading a Kindle it's easy right no problem I mentioned this earlier uh, in one of the videos uh, about how to get your ebook or your PDF file uh, into a paperback and get it onto Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Books a Million, and all the other uh, book retailing sites. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to LightningSource.com and uh, create yourself an account there and start uploading your books. Uh, basically, the process is, if you're not that familiar with print-on-demand, this is how it works. You don't stock anything. Nobody really stocks anything. Everything is printed on a as-you-need basis. Goes you, the publisher. Go, you upload your files up to Lightning Source. They, in turn, Put it out into the distribution channels, which is, includes like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, like I just mentioned, and then ultimately uh, the book buyer buys it. Lightning Source prints it as needed, so nobody ever gets stock. Although, if you do have a good title, and I have a couple in Amazon that Amazon does stock on a regular basis, they'll order like 20 or 30 at a time. Uh, so that they don't have to keep reordering from Lightning Source. So uh, what you'll want to do is uh, click on Open New Account. It's really pretty simple. Uh, you're going to be the publisher, so you're going to go to the New Accounts page. And everything's pretty straightforward. You get a name and password, contact information, uh, you know, book categories, you know, a couple of general things about your uh, business that you're going to do. But, uh, and the royalties with Lightning Source are a lot better than, there's a lot of talk like about Create Space. Lightning Source, you actually set your own royalties. You set the discount rate. And it's usually uh, set between anywhere between 25% and 50%. I generally do 25%. So that means 75% of the price of a book uh, minus the print charge comes to me. So a typical 120 page, five by eight black and white interior with a color cover paperback at a 25% discount rate at $20 a book, that nets you $15. And then minus a print charge of about $250 per book, nets you $12 per book. Now CreateSpace 
they have a little royalty calculator here. I punched it in. List, list price is 20 bucks. Black and white interior, color cover, 5x8, 120 pages. There, Amazon royalty, you get an $8.10 royalty. If you sign up for the Pro, which has extra costs involved up front, uh, but then you get the expanded distribution, but they take 60% of the uh, expanded distribution and 40% uh, with uh, Amazon.com. So the money's, you know, is it a lot of money? Well, $8, so you're talking $4.50 roughly per book. But that can easily, easily add up because I've been using Lightning Source since, uh, oh, it's been about five years now. I think, right, 2005, I published my first book with them. And the books that I've published with Lightning Source back in 2005, all the way up uh, now to 2010, have been continually earning me uh, royalties without doing anything, you know, except for the initial setup. So the money, the $4.50 per book, over uh, a year's time, a couple of years' time, five years' time, ten years' time, can really add up to be a lot of money. So, uh, I can't, in these short videos, I mean, I can't really go through uh, the whole process of uploading. Uh, you have all the PDFs that you downloaded with the videos. There's a whole folder there with lightning source uh, information, how to set up a title, uh, how to set up a cover. They give you uh, cover and spine calculations that uh, you could do online and print. Uh, there's all the requirements you need for your digital files. Oh, and also, even if, if you don't have digital files, you can also, they also have the capability of scanning hard copies and creating ebooks out of hard copies. So go ahead, go over there, look around. Uh, they got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff you have already. I, you have all the guides already uh, that you need to get started. There's a lot of information, but once you do the first one, the next one's uh, a lot easier. So, uh, yeah, lightningsource.com. You're going to love like these guys. I wanted to go over a couple of the uh, PDF files that I have included with this uh, report. Uh, a lot of these are from Lightning Source, and these are like really important. Uh, this is your file creation guide. Uh, this is going to be everything that you need to know how to format your documents for uploading into uh, lightningsource.com. It gives you all the sizes, the requirements. Uh, so take a, take your time. Read a lot of this stuff is technical, but uh, this is stuff that you really you really need need to know. And they got everything outlined for you. It's really easy to follow. And they got a. Uh, you know screenshots of what you have to do so uh, uh, yeah it's going to be different for uh, paperbacks in uh, color or black and white uh, I think all the covers are colored uh, nowadays so uh, you know just uh, follow everything as best you can and you'll be okay uh, here's uh, how to upload your files to lightning source uh, also with screenshots and everything and this is just a short little thing that's really easy anyway so you're not gonna have any trouble with that this is how to set your ebook titles at lightning source you know I wouldn't even bother doing that I mean you can because you could set up ebook titles and they will be uh, put on sites that sell ebooks other than uh, Amazon.com. Uh, obviously, the Kindle edition is uh, limited to strictly Amazon. Uh, so, if you want to uh, load up a ebook, yeah, I haven't had much 
success with the ebooks with Lightning Source. I mean, I do sell some, but the Kindle far outweighs uh, what I have done with the uh, ebooks going through uh, Lightning Source. There are some sites that uh, you know do sell some titles, but you know that's your choice. Okay, and this is how to place an order for your own books. This is a short and sweet guide. It's only four pages. Really very easy. This is a really strong, strong, uh, I would say, benefit of going through Lightning Source to order these uh, yourself. Because they are so cheap, and you can pass on the cost to your customers, you're virtually making 100% of the profit on these things. Uh, here's another thing on digital file submission standards that you're going to want to overlook. Uh, you're not going to want to overlook, you know, all the formats that they use, uh, text blocks, and and uh, oh, this is the uh, tags that that uh, Kindle supports. It, they don't support all HTML tags. As of right now, this is what they support. So, uh, now that could change in the next uh, Kindle edition, but right now, that's this is what they support. And the last thing I wanted to show you was the Kindle cheat sheet. Right here, these are very important. Kindle customer service number, telephone number, also the uh, their email address for support. And they were actually very good with support. I have had no issues with them. So, uh, you know, you're, uh, you, I usually get a response, you know, within a day. Usually within a day, same day. I've had no problem with their uh, support. Also, the links to the Moby Pocket Creator. Uh, digital text platform by Amazon. Here's a lightning source link. And, uh, you know, these are a lot of things that you'll find uh, handy to use. All right, that's about it on the PDFs included. Well, there you have it. Uh, everything you need to know to get started with uh, Amazon uh, digital text platform also known as the Kindle. Uh, go ahead and browse around the site over there. There's a lot of stuff there. There's a uh, Getting Started and FAQs. They got a community forum, uh, which are people there are very friendly. You can ask questions and give out answers if you can give out answers. So go ahead and browse around on the site and get started with uh, Kindle. I'm really looking forward to the uh, commission bonus come July. I mean, they're going to double the commission, they, or royalties, I should say, that they're going to pay all uh, publishers. So it's exciting news. It's time to jump on board. Uh, there's definitely money to be made here, so get going on it. And also, don't forget about Lightning Source. Get over there. There's a... Uh, uh, a lot of money to be made. You know, a lot of you guys are probably all doing uh, PDFs and eBooks and uh, from your websites, but this is a whole new marketing uh, avenue for you. You don't need to know about, you know, PHP, uh, Ajax. You know, I don't care what ABC language you're talking about. Amazon does the selling for you. All you got to do is get it there. Upload it. You'll have all the big heavy bait, heavyweights working for you with uh, Amazon being the 800-pound gorilla. But don't forget there's other gorillas out there. You know, maybe they are 100-pound gorillas like Barnes & Noble and even a couple of the independents. If you have like a niche-type book and an independent picks up on it and runs with it, you don't know how many. You could sell, you know, a couple hundred a month. You, you have... Uh, the, the, it, it's limitless. So Lightning Source is a great uh, place to start if you want to publish paperbacks. Also, I, I didn't even mention it when I was talking about Lightning Source, but 
you can order your own books from Lightning Source and all you pay is the printing fee. So in the example that we did in the earlier video, a 120 page uh, book with a black and white interior, five by eight paperback, would only cost you $2.50. Now what a great advertising. This is great for uh, you know, giving away at shows or giving away to potential clients and uh, and and if you do like little small little promo books that could be about a buck buck fifty so this is really a good way and it also adds value adds to the uh, the FUD factor when people are ordering from you so uh, you know keep that in the back of your mind and especially if you order them by the case like if you get you know it depends on the size of the book but it might be like 80 to a case and shipping costs are very minimal I think last time I ordered I ordered a case of 86 books and shipping was like 12 bucks or something so the, you know I might add a you know 25 cents to the price of the book so would you, you end up uh, paying about 275 for each paperback edition that you can sell for 20 so it's a nice little markup there. And plus, when you ship it to your customers, you're going to add on shipping costs. So, you know, you're going to get 20 bucks for the book. You're going to essentially get it for free and uh, be total profit. Yes, yeah, so that's Lightning Source. Uh, so definitely use them. These guys are real good. They're real helpful, real nice people over there. Uh, they have all their uh, contact details there. And if you have any questions, they're really good. They usually get back to you, you know, within an hour or so if you send them emails very nice people okay uh, lastly I'd like to show you one of my uh, Kindle books that has been up since uh, this I actually put up with Moby Pocket it's got to be maybe three years ago this has been up here as a uh, Kindle edition uh, this is the book that I was doing a promo book for with links pointing to this book to help promote the sale of this um, this book, uh, uh, let's see, right now it's at 56000 in the Kindle store. It, that's about as high as it goes. It usually uh, varies between, uh, I, should, I should, should say, usually fluctuates between, you know, about eight, nine, ten thousand 10000 up to like, you know, maybe 70000 So this is today. Uh, that uh, this book does very well for me. It's been a steady earner. Actually, this book has been on Amazon as a paperback too since uh, ooh, I want to say like 2006 maybe. And it's a steady earner, this book. So this is the type of stuff that you can do. Uh, so get out there. Get your uh, uh, all your stuff together, all your files and get on up to the 800 pound gorilla there's a lot of money these guys can make for you and there's virtually no work once you get it uploaded you just sit back and uh, sit on the beach and count your money so get out there get cranking alright thanks you guys